How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down, please sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says... It's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hoped that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be <laughs> still, Courtney. <clears throat> all of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Let them drift away. What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. There's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor... The DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon is dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control of the essence. Keep a voice down. Do you know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? 
certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso, who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. And have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jeff Kelso. 